Hello, and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and we're very glad you're joining us again today. Today, we're going to have another very interesting show. We have with us today Larry Crane from the West Coast, who has put together this rather incredible course called the Abundance Course. The idea of releasing Larry will be describing to us, but he is known internationally, has worked with famous celebrities, authors, uh, entrepreneurs of all sorts, helping them get emotionally, psychologically clear of those things that are stopping them, that are making them less great than they really can be. So because of Larry's work, we wanted to have him on the show and help us all become as great as we can be. We'll also be looking at some uh, a technology that is now being used, which has the ability to measure this idea of release. And um, it's going to bring this entire process of an inward, essentially psychological, psychophysical process to another level because we can see through the use of this software really what release looks like graphed out. So we're very glad to have Larry with us today. As I said, he's world renowned for his work. He's a very wonderful man from New York City and uh, he's doing a great job in the world letting people know of a very simple process that can literally change the way this world works. Hey Larry. Hi Mitchell. Great to have you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Good, good, good. So give us first, uh, you didn't like come out of the womb releasing, or did you? No, um, not at What all. happened in your life that well, had you get interested in this whole phenomenon? Well, I grew up in the Bronx, and for me, the rich person lived on the sixth floor and we lived in the basement. Mm. My father was a retailer, small retailer who worked six and a half days a week to put food on a table. And um, when I, so I had to put myself through school. I went to NYU, and, and why not? And uh, we, uh, when and I got you maintain out, your New York Jewish sense of humor too. Right. <laughs> and when we, uh, when I got out of school, I saw some of my friends making lots of money. And I thought, I'm just as smart as they are, so I can do it too. So I became this sort of aggressive guy. Get out of my way, I'm gonna take what I want. Climbed my way to the top, made millions of dollars, had a 10-room duplex apartment in Manhattan, 63rd Street and Lexington Avenue, got a beautiful second wife, had all the toys that are supposed to make you happy, and I was miserable. One night I came home to my penthouse, and Time Magazine had written an article about me, and I walked over to my t penthouse and I thought of jumping for two hours. Here I had all the toys that are going to supposed to make you happy. I was miserable. I know what happened to an Elvis Presley or a John Belushi. It's a shock to your nervous system. So I walked over to the terrace and I thought of jumping for two hours. Was and the I, article about it was your... Saying how great I was. How great you were. Sure. As a businessman. As yeah. And I had all the toys and everything else. And um, so I stood on the terrace and I asked myself two very important questions. Questions that I'd never asked myself before. The first question was, what am I doing on a planet? And the answer came, I don't know what I'm doing on a planet. The second answer came is, what is life about? The second the next, question. Yeah. yeah, the next question was, I don't know what I'm doing on a planet. For me, um, it was making money. That was it. I was so focused on it. Mm -hmm. And so I decided I wasn't going to jump, but I needed to find some answers. Mm. And so I didn't know what to do. I wasn't open for psychotherapy, yoga, meditation. I wasn't open for any of that stuff. To me, it was all, just didn't know what it was. I was a businessman who was more of a, I'm from Missouri, show me, Harry Truman. I, I don't listen to Blone, Bloney. Mm -hmm. I still don't. And uh, my wife talked me into a new age course, which I won't mention, but I took it and nothing happened. It didn't change, nothing. And I kept asking, well, See, I was very angry in addition to that, really angry. I used to scream at the top of my lungs 20 times a day, every day. Hmm. My, my veins would stick out of my neck. I'd turn red, and I would have been dead from a heart attack had I not run into this technique years ago. Hmm. And I had the ulcers and the migraine headaches and everything else to go along with that kind of a behavior. But well, one day, um, a man came into my office and told me about a man called Lester Levinson. 
who was a physicist and a scientist, developer at a release technique. Lester, at the age of 42 years old, had his second massive heart attack. Lester was a physicist and an engineer. Also from, well, he lived in New Jersey, but he was living in New York at the time, mm -hmm. Central Park West. And after having a second massive heart attack, the doctor said he had about two weeks to live. But they couldn't help him. They didn't have bypass surgery, open heart surgery in those days. So they sent him home to die. They told him that he ought to um, get himself loafers because it would be too strenuous to bend down and tie his shoelaces. That's how bad it was. And so he went home and he started to examine his life. And he noticed that the times when he was positive or loving was when he wasn't ill. And when he was looking for love and he was negative, he was ill. He had every illness that you ever had, more illnesses than I ever dreamed I could have. And um, did all kinds of things, searching for an answer, studied medicine, studied Freud, he studied, uh, you name it, and he couldn't find an answer. It got him to the point where he was a dead man. And he stumbled upon a natural ability called releasing and in one month's time, he undid all his illnesses, never saw another doctor professionally for the next 40 years. Being a scientist, and this is scientific what we have, you can prove it to yourself, he um, turned a technique in his financial area because he had a tendency to make money, lose money, make money, lose so money. So you're f saying that by his discovering this natural method called yeah. releasing. Right. Um, and noticing that whenever he had unloving feelings, when uh, hostility, right. aggression, anger, what have you, right. there was a correlation between that and being ill. Yeah. And feeling loving yes. was a correlation with feeling right. good and being healthy. So he said, if I can get rid of all my non-loving feelings, could I get any better? And when in a short time, he, after one month's time, he got rid of all his illnesses. He never saw another doctor for the next 40 years. So he disproved yeah. the two-week advisory right. of, of the doctor that he was going to be totally. dying. Totally and lived and then lived more gloriously yeah. than ever before. Right, then he focused it on the financial area and within a short time he accumulated 23 buildings in Manhattan. It's just by releasing. It's mind boggling, but he did. Well, he probably and then, put some down payments down too or something, but oh, <laughs> releasing probably was step really. one. You see, when, you, uh -huh. when, you're, when you're in the harmony of the universe, when you're loving and you become positive, yes. you get into the harmony of the universe, you don't really have to do anything. That's mind boggling for most people. I know it was for me. Because when I met Lester originally, mm -hmm. the first thing he said to me was, there's no such thing as a germ. I had ulcers, migraine, headaches, every allergy known to mankind. <laughs> In fact, if you would sneeze on a telephone, I'd probably catch a cold. So when he told me that, I said, oh my God, what's he talking about? See, Lester had no limitations whatsoever, none. And at first I thought, who does this guy think he is? But he would walk his talk. In the age of mid-70s, he was playing tennis here with us in the wet side tennis uh, pavilion and never <laughs> huffing and puffing. We were huffing and puffing, and he wasn't <laughs> huffing and puffing. Wow. And um, so I thought about it, and I said, well, I, by that time I had learned a technique, so I said to myself, well, if he's right, I get to get rid of all my illnesses. If he's wrong, I got nothing to lose. I'm back where I started. So I applied the technique, and within a short time, all my illnesses went away. I haven't seen a, a doctor professionally in 29 years. I don't get any toothaches anymore. I can just by see when your body is positive, not negative, negativity can't live in a positive body. You can only live in a negative body. And we got plenty of negative things going on on the planet today. That's why the, we have a, uh, nature is making all kinds of problems and so on and mm. so forth. It's the, it's the contentiousness of the planet. People are getting more and more frustrated and angry, and that's causing nature to get out of harmony. I think it's the contentiousness of people that absolutely. is causing, it's being expressed through absolutely. natural it's, processes. It's manifesting itself in tsunamis and earthquakes and, and all hurricanes. floods and hurricanes and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. With this technique, in fact, we had a graduate, I spoke to him yesterday, a graduate of the release technique, abundance course. He lives in Florida. All his neighbors' home, all of his neighbors' homes were washed away with, with the water and his house was perfect. Now, how do you explain that? That's sort of mind-boggling because he's positive. He's in a positive frame of mind and therefore it went around him. And I can tell you dozens and dozens of stories of people who have done those kind of things using the technique. So with this technique, you learn how to master your life, master your mind, and master your body. Lester was considered really to be a realized being. I mean, he's considered to be as great, in a sense, as 
many of the leading spiritual teachers from India, mm -hmm. for instance. Is that yeah. so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did he have a teacher? Did he have a no. teacher his, in any way? His teacher was his heart attack. Uh huh. They got him to yeah. focus in. See, I'll tell you when you're released. Yes. <clears throat> we know how everybody knows how to release. It's a natural technique. The problem is we forgot. So we got to show you that you can do it and get you back at it. See, so Jimmy and Johnny are in the backyard and they're playing. And Jimmy steps on Johnny's foot, and the next thing you know, they're fighting and they're angry. And about two minutes later, they're laughing and giggling again. If that happens to us, we don't talk to each other for 30 years. So uh -huh. what they did is they knew how to release. And we forgot. As the time yeah. went by, we forgot how to release. So what we do is we show you step by step on how to let it go. See, the mind is like, works like a computer. If you have a virus in your computer and you don't remove the virus, no matter how much information you put into the computer, as long as a virus remains, it's going to interfere with the way the computer operates. Most of us are suppressing our negativity. When you suppress your negativity, you push it into your subconscious mind and it remains there, interfering with your health, your happiness, your success, your money-making abilities. So we show you step by step of how to remove the neg negativity. Not talk about it. These motivational things that you hear about and tapes and books, they're good, but they're talking about it. They're not showing you how to do it. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's an insult to your intelligence. They say things like, when you're negative, be positive. When you're stressed out, relax. Great, well, show me how to do it. Don't tell me to do it. The problem is these people, they just know how to talk about it instead of showing you how to do it. So we show you step by step how to do it. You see it on the internet, all these tips. It's hysterical. Uh, uh, tips on how to get rid of stress. Take a deep breath, take a walk in the park. Don't talk to that person anymore. <laughs> it's a useless thing, you know? With this technique, you can get rid of it and get to a place where nothing and nobody bothers you. And at that point... But it's as simple as relaxing, I take it. It's, it's some form of relaxation, uh, some form of kind of mildly or passively reframing a situation. It's not reframing. It's actually letting go of the negativity. Uh -huh. It's energy. In fact, uh -huh. later on in the show, we'll talk about yeah. it. There's been some scientists uh, at MIT and, and Stanford University. In fact, the one man worked with David Packett of Hewlett Packett in the beginning of his company. Hmm. So these guys are rocket scientists, and they have studied the method and measured the, uh, it's measurable. And they have a machine that's the most sophisticated machine called an ICAP machine, which measures your ability to release. So we've taken people who don't know how to release, taken people who have meditated, and had them put the machine on, and they resonated very, very in, in a good place. But they could get better by releasing. They can even move down and down and down. Well, one so of the most important things that you've really said, Larry, is mm -hmm. that in your own life, yeah. going from a point of being suicidal, of mm -hmm. having met Lester, mm -hmm. learning the technique, applying it, that is, and mm -hmm. so even though your physical um, illnesses cleared up, more than anything, your emotional illness cleared up, which had you want to take your own life. Exactly. So that is, if you want to really talk about monumental, that's it. Well, here's the thing. You see, there are three aspects of mind, because I know a lot of the viewers here are into the subject. Yes. The first aspect is the sensing aspect of mind. Animals have that. You know, it's hot, it's cold. Mm -hmm. And then we have, this is the problem. Sensory we awareness. have the audio, the automatic response, recording and playing back aspect of mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that thing plays in your head and you can't turn it off. It's playing all night long. Well, who's it belong to? It's just a recording and a playing back unit. Yes. And it's playing it back when you don't want to hear it. So it's playing... It's a tape it's, recorder. It's, it's a tape recorder recording everything that ever happens in your life. Yes. Now, unless you take that stuff out, most of it's useless, especially if you had a trauma. Like the other day, I was, I was teaching a class in, in Minneapolis, and there was a lady with a dog, and she was trying to pull the dog up the second stairs, a uh, second story flight. The dog wouldn't go. Obviously, the dog had some kind of memory about walking up the stairs saying it was dangerous. No matter what she did with that dog for 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> that dog wasn't going up the stairs. She'd take her, go for a walk, do anything, but wasn't going up the stairs. That's because the dog had a memory. So animals have that. Sure. They have a sensing and they have a recording and playing back unit. But what they don't have is the ability to discriminate. Man has a, the ability to discriminate. When you can discriminate, now the more emotional intelligence you have, the more ability you have to discriminate. The more emotional you are, the less ability that you have to discriminate. Now, industry has found that out. And we give this course to a lot of corporations all over the, the world, like Wachovia and uh, AT&T and whatever. 
The long and short of it is, what they are looking for now in industry is people with emotional intelligence. They found out that people with emotional intelligence are better than people with IQ. Now, are better, how, meaning yes. better employees? Better employees. They're only looking better for, people? They only want people with emotional intelligence. Yeah, they'll be more successful. Definitely. But this technique will show you and get you to have better emotional intelligence. I'm a prime example of it, a guy who was practicing Tantra Yoga for years. That's where you stand on your head or you hold your breath until you get what you want, until you turn red. So the long and short of it is when you let go of this negativity. <laughs> that's one definition, yes. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Uh -huh. you know? But anyway, by getting rid of this negativity, I haven't screamed once in 29 years. Now, it wasn't that I didn't want to do it. I just didn't have the tools to stop. You know, you got, I was on a plane coming here and somebody said his dad was into anger management. He goes around the country showing people anger management. I said, I don't want to manage anger. I want to get rid of it. <laughs> what good is managing it? So we have a lot of tools and toys yeah. to kind of push it aside, but it doesn't get rid of it, see? Sure. And if you, now, what people are doing with their emotions is they're either expressing themselves, suppressing it, or escaping. That's what people are trying to do. So it's like having a virus in your computer you know you got a virus in your computer, but instead of removing it, you move the computer from room to room, <laughs> trying to get rid of it. You change jobs, you change relationships. Uh -huh. you, know, you know, you just do this, you do that, you buy houses, you take... Now, if you take a vacation... But the virus is still in the computer. Wherever you're going, it's there, and then yeah. you take a vacation, it's like turning the virus, to turning the computer off, and when you turn it back on, the virus is still mm -hmm. there. So wherever Larry's taking Larry, He's taking his viruses with him or without him. That's right. So with this technique, you can empty them out. As they say, wherever you go, there you are. There you are. <laughs> and this, with this technique, you can empty it out mm -hmm. and be done with it. And that's it. You know, it's an interesting... So the results, give us some idea of some of the results that you have seen in people over the years. Well, we've got people getting... And you've been doing this for 29, 29 years. years. The, uh, I wouldn't do... This is not something I need to do for money because I've used this technique to become a millionaire self-made millionaire using the technique and all that happened is you get more successful because when you're in the harmony of the universe the universe takes care of you that's mind-boggling for most people so but have you had other students become we have millionaires a, and yeah we have emotionally as as I, balanced and as far as i know we have at least 30 people who become millionaires in fact one man he lives in florida he took the course only a month ago and he took a live class with me and in, during that class, he made an $89 million profit, $89 million. So anybody can do this. He was probably already a millionaire, I no, would imagine. He, he, he was, <laughs> to make an $89 million, $9 million profit, you've already got to be... He was pretty successful, but he, pretty he just successful. jumped up. Now, most people mm -hmm. are trying to make their way in life. And it's like looking at the fruits on a tree. They're looking at the fruits, and the fruits, and the fruits are not so good. Well, if the fruits are not so good, they forgot to look at the roots. If the roots are right. contaminated and corroded, the fruits can't be any good. So with this technique, you go into your subconscious mind, which is misunderstood, go in there easily, remove the negativity, correct those corroded roots, and then the fruits grow in a beautiful way. And it's called the abundance course, and the reason it's called the abundance course is because it's not start about money, it's about health, happiness, success, and everything. We've had people, there's a, well, I could go on and tell you a million stories. Every illness that you Just give one had, or two for our audience. Well, they would there, was a lady, there was a lady that had cancer and she had a, um, a cyst on her neck or a growth on her neck the size of a small grapefruit. And the doctors told her she had fourth state cancer. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you for telling me I have fourth I feel so much better. I don't know why they tell those people that. So such she a called, relief. Such a relief. <laughs> So she called me up, she ordered the tapes overnight. You can order it on the on a telephone or you can order it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I work with her. And in a few months, the whole thing disappeared. The doctors couldn't figure it out. It just totally disappeared. And that's happened with lots and lots of people. We had another lady that showed up in one of our retreats. Her cousin is a psychologist and told her about it. She had had 10 operations, 10 operations, mm. had two discs placed in her back. They were going to have another operation for, with her. And what happened was she came and took the course. In two days, she was dropped a cane, no more medication, running around. We played it. We have a thing called, it's like musical chairs that we do sometimes, just for kidding around. It's called musical feelings. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was running around, knocking people over, grabbing their chair and all the other stuff. 
and she didn't have to have the operation. And that's happened with people getting rid of migraine headaches, depression, anxiety, in one weekend. In one weekend, they get rid of anxiety, depression. Now, if you go to a doctor, all they know is know, all they know is know how to diagnose you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Great. Now that you told me I have depression, can you help me get rid of it? Do you want me to get rid of it? I don't know how to get rid of it myself. I'll tell you what, you come and talk to me forever while I make my Mercedes payments, <laughs> or we'll dope you up. That's it. And it never fixes anything. They stay that or same both. way. And, yes. And so what, with this technique, you, be, mm -hmm. you don't get dependent on us. You don't have to come see us anymore. You learn how to, tech, you learn how to make, uh, work the technique. You get rid of what bothers you, and that's it. So there that's is wonderful. no guru. Uh, you become your own guru, G-U-R-U. You right. become your own guru, <laughs> and therefore beautiful. you you take care of yourself, and you exactly. learn how to master yourself, and it's easy to do. We've had people yeah. getting rid of, yeah. I mean, today they have all these uh, diseases: ODC, ABC, CDY. If the doctors don't know what it is, they make up a name, and they got all these fancy names. Because I talk to hundreds of people a day, and I am available for people once they learn how to mm -hmm. use the technique. I'll be happy to talk to them mm -hmm. and help them if they need help. Wonderful. Fortunately, most people don't need it. It's so well taught. That yeah. they don't really need anybody, but yeah. I, we're here to help you, and if you need it... And you do the do. teaching. Yes. So, it's well we taught. Do have, we even do have a it's live well class taught. coming up here in New York City Wonderful. on November 18th, 19th, and 20th, right here on 14th Street at the Mantra Center, which is Wonderful. a nice place. I think you know yeah. uh, the lady who runs sure. it. And we use the facility. It's beautiful, right on the, right on the right East on River. Right on the water, exactly. And so on. And it's we'll a step-by-step it, step of how to get rid of the technique. How to get rid of the technique. Don't get, get rid, rid of the technique. Don't get rid of Release technique. everything but the technique. How to get rid of <laughs> what bothers you. And exactly. do it really simple, and it's fantastic. Let's bring uh, Dr. Dave Durant on, who will give me a little idea okay. in the audience yeah. of the sci another part of the scientific aspect of what you're doing. Wonderful. Because uh, I think it's great work. Good. Just don't release the technique. All right, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Larry, it's been great to have all you. Right, it's my a pleasure. very empowering process you've been teaching for all these years, and I think the world is really a better place for it. Thank you so, so much. You. Appreciate it. This is the new look for a better world. Thanks to David Durant. Hi. Hi. Glad to have you, Doctor. Nice to be here. Uh, David is fine, by the way. Okay. What is it that's going on? What am I wearing? What am I doing? Well, it's called an ICAP, and it's basically a two electrode EEG device, electroencephalogram device that measures brainwave activity. Mm -hmm. But it was actually desi designed to specifically measure the releasing vector, which means the signal in the brain that constitutes releasing. And in a moment, we'll, we can look at the graph and you can see so the So basically, reaction. there's a, a scientist or two at MIT and Stanford, as I understood from Larry. They were trained there, yeah. That mm -hmm. were trained there, and they've been working on developing the software, which is essentially, a, I guess, a form of feedback, an EEG slash feedback device. And yeah. it's measuring, mm -hmm. they've, they've managed to, as much as possible, isolate the variables that they believe constitute the process of releasing, as described by Lester and Larry. Right. He spent about two years, and the person who was work doing the research, a lot of the research, is a releaser himself. And if you put on an EEG device that you can buy for thousands of dollars, this is much less expensive, mm -hmm. those devices are measuring a variety of signals, and they're not focused in on the releasing signal of the brain. I so see. that's the advantage of the ICAP. It, it, it focuses in on what electrically is letting go. So if you have a meditator, say, who actually may feel calm, if they're not actually letting go of negative energy, there won't be a reaction. They'll stay high and they w the signal won't drop. Interesting, interesting. So basically you're saying it's not just a question of meditation and being relaxed. There's something else that's going on in the release technique that's measurable mm -hmm. through this software. That's what we believe, and it's being, of course, it's being tested on a, a wider and wider audience as it's being distributed. It's yeah, because you're just at the very the, beginning right. now. Right, exactly. Well, what is this saying about me, well, David? You, you're, uh, you see the, the baseline. You have sort of a baseline of activity, and the amplitude of the waves is, is pretty low. But um, so there's a fair amount of quiet, even while you've been talking to me. These little bumps are increased thought uh, mm -hmm. activity. 
And if you hold the intention to release, your releaser, you've taken the mm -hmm. course from Larry. Yes, I have. <laughs> so um, now we just got you to bump by focusing in on that. But again, as you hold the intention to release, you see that dive, that's a release. This drop here that just occurred is a release. And this is your low point here, which is 390. Mm -hmm. And that tells you the level of release that you've achieved during the session. So in a certain way, what matters perhaps even more than the level is the drop, because it's the drop from one level to another that indicates it's the both. release. I think it's both. It's both, yeah. yeah. But again, this we'll means I'm a relaxed mm -hmm. releaser. That is a hyper releaser. <laughs> yeah. What you find if you do a session of a half an hour, you'll find that you start out perhaps at a higher level if you come in off the street and you've been yeah. agitated about something. Yeah. And as you continue to release, you'll, you'll drop down to a lower and lower level. And as you practice with releasing, of course, you get better and better. Now, you've been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. Since 2003. If you, one of the most profound exercises that Larry designed um, uh, is called the freedom exercise. And I found by doing that, I was able to drop down to the low 200s and below that. Mm. So um, the exercises are actually incorporated into the software so you can be playing Larry's uh, exercises while you're releasing and see your response on the screen. That's wonderful. Well, I think this is really going to go far in helping the release technique get known even further than it is and mm -hmm. perhaps even the fulfillment of Lester Levinson's wish, which was to get this to 10% of the human population. Right. I, I really would like to see that. And I think this is a real help in that direction. If people have stress, they're going to be able to see exactly. their response to exactly. stress reduction using the technique. That's right. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for at least showing us this yeah. briefly. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Sure. This is Mitchell J. Rabin for A Better World. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you found that as interesting as I did. And I look forward to seeing you all next week.